<laughs> filled up nine times if there wasn't a blackout. God. Coming up on the All Sports Report, the Bolts, Pods, and Jaguars all make the show. A good night learns how to Bucky and a real-life Excalibur. It's all coming your way with these stories and more later on the 1045 All Sports Report. But right now, here... Two years and $35 million later, and Divorce Stadium is ready to reopen. Southwestern College eagerly hosting a ribbon-cutting ceremony on the Jaguars' new football field. For, uh, the stadium, the visible part of a renovation that includes a new four-story classroom along with upgraded athletic facilities. It sure seems like a great place to host the CIF Championship Finals, which normally play, are played at Qualcomm, that cavernous building. You could you know, you could fit really nicely into this intimate uh, surroundings. Here's what Coach Ed Carberry had to say about that. Terry Davis, our dean, and Jerry Schneep have met and talked about it. So it's out there. There's a lot of back and forth going on right now. Um, it certainly would be a great place to host the games. They've got end zone seating. We've got uh, seating for about 10,000 people. It has absolutely everything you could possibly need to put on games of that magnitude. Brandon Stone described it as breathtaking at Southwestern College. All right, when we come two years and $35 million later, and Divorce Stadium is ready to reopen. Southwestern College eagerly hosting a ribbon-cutting ceremony on the Jaguars' new football field Friday. The stadium, the visible part of a renovation that includes a new four-story classroom along with upgraded athletic facilities. And nobody is more excited about the new digs than Jaguar football coach Ed Carberry. Coach Carberry joining us live from his new home. Yeah. Coach, can you hear me? I can hear you. Ed, what is the coolest part of the new renovation in your opinion? Wow, well, it's, uh, you know, it's the whole thing. I mean, we've got, uh, it's academic athletic, but from the athletic standpoint, we've got a 6,000 square foot weight room, 140 seat amphitheater, and this beautiful field we're practicing on right now. All right, Ed, uh, our Brandon Stone attended Friday's ribbon cutting, which I'm sure you were at. The featured speaker, John DeVore, the son of Chester, the first school president, if I'm not mistaken. Take a listen to what uh, John had to say. The stadium was named after our dad for the work that he did as a superintendent and president of the college. But, you know, in his heart, he was a football coach. That's what he was. No, he was a football coach. And he, he believed that, that sports was an opportunity to teach about character. And he believed that football, uh, above all, was the perfect opportunity to teach um, some of life's most important lessons. So, Ed, you have to like hearing that, right? Oh, yeah. You know, it sounds like I'm at a San Diego County football clinic. <laughs> That's what all the coaches are doing. All the high school coaches, all the community college coaches are out there trying to uh, build life lessons for these guys. So we're looking at some of the video of the renovation. Uh, just take us on a little tour. I, I don't know if you can see the pictures, but what, 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 what does this all entail? Well, it started out uh, about five years ago when the people of South Bay passed a bond to build this building. It's 52,000 square feet. It's got uh, four big classrooms. Uh, we went all over Southern California looking at other community colleges that had built similar buildings, had passed bonds, and we asked them, you know, number one, what'd you do wrong? And almost all of them said we didn't build enough classrooms. So that's been a big point of emphasis here. And, uh, you know, the athletic facility uh, is better than anybody in the state. It's, uh, we say it quite a bit, it's okay for the people of the South Bay to have the best, and when they absolutely have the best. Uh, you're understandably proud. Uh, Ed, one of the most underreported statistics is your, your success rate as getting uh, athletes into four-year schools. Uh, uh, remind folks, what's your, what are you batting right about now as far as getting athletes into uh, four-year schools? Oh, you know, number one thing is, is transfer. And, uh, you know, everybody would love to go 12-0 and 0 every year, but if you send these guys out to universities, uh, the big ones that everybody knows about on ESPN and the small ones in the middle of the states, out in Missouri and Kansas, still puts a great emphasis on the kids and their life. We talk to them like all the coaches do about, you know, 35 years old, a job you like, 2.5 kids and, you know, a wife that you come home to every day. And that's life. It's not ESPN. It's not MTV. <laughs> It's about hard work and about learning how to, you know, have the dedication it takes to be successful. And it starts out here on the football field. And one of the kids we're interested in is uh, the 2012 Silver Pigsky winner, Tofi Pow Pow, uh, a new quarterback in your shed. Can you talk a little bit about, uh, update us on what Tofi's situation is? 
Uh, we're real excited about Tofi being here. Uh, kind of fell in our laps and uh, uh, his dad uh, uh, brought him down and was excited about him uh, coming and joining us. He fits our offense real well. We're a spread shotgun throw it 45 times a game and he certainly has all the <laughs> skill set for that. Hey, uh, I, I, he's a hilarious, you know him Paul because yeah. you've been around him a lot. The guy is hilarious. He's always cracking jokes, keeping everybody loose. But when it comes to football time, he's ready to go. Yeah, uh, and, and we're always wishing him well. Uh, Ed, we're looking at the stadium live again. I can't help but notice that would be a perfect size venue for, say, the high school sectional finals that are normally played at the Q in that big cavernous environment. I think Southwestern College would be a better venue. A any news on that topic? You know, uh, uh, Terry Davis, our dean, and Jerry Schneep have met and talked about it. So it's out there. There's a lot of back and forth going on right now. Um, it certainly would be a great place to host the games. They've got end zone seating. We've got uh, seating for about 10,000 people. It has absolutely everything you could possibly need to put on games of that magnitude. Before we let you go, Ed, uh, when I first met you, you were uh, coaching up a storm at Monta Vista High School. Uh, we did an PPR Open, kind of featuring one of your guys. Do you remember Darrell Mack? Listen to this, Ed. Monta Vista's Daryl Mack having another big night. It's Darrell, not Daryl, Darrell. Daryl cuts left, Daryl cuts right. How can we expect him to lead a football show if he can't get our names right? <laughs> Paid for by Steve Quiz and Swift Pigs Against Mispronunciation. <laughs> Ed, how's Daryl doing? <laughs> uh, you know, I still hear from him every once in a while. We laugh about his 50 carries for 250 <laughs> yards. I keep telling him there was only one person in Qualcomm that could stop him, and it was me, and I refused to. <laughs> All right, Mr. Ed Carberry, uh, congratulations on your new digs. We look forward to uh, spending a lot of time down at the home of the Jaguars, right, the uh, Southwestern College. Thanks a lot, Ed. Get back to practice.